and this is 2020. Welcome everyone. These days, Lord knows there are no shortage of Karens. It's a crazy world and Karen and Darren aren't afraid to tell us just how crazy it is. This first clip, we finally get to see Mark. He doesn't seem pleased with Jamie. However, she is trying to be her usual sweet self, but he is having none of it. What was that, Mark? I said I want a peaceful environment here, Jamie, and you're not providing a peaceful environment. You are making trouble, and if you would, I would appreciate if you did not attack people. Yeah. You're a slum landlord. Douche, you're the worst landlord I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. Fuck you, fuckface. Mr. Mark, why exactly are you recording me? Oh, why are you recording me? Because, because you're afraid I'm going to call you a fuckface? You think you're so fucking great? You're such a good dancer. Oh, you're so cute. You're so thin. You're a narcissist, Mark. Do they have a pill for that? Fucking, unfortunately not. That's why you're alone. That's why no one wants to be around you. Including your Filipino wife. See, I wouldn't have done any of that to you, Jamie. I have never attacked you like that. And you've spent all this time attacking me. You've spent time attacking Mario. Um, I think it's uh, probably... <clears throat> The next clip comes from Josh Abrams, who is doing his civic duty by holding police officers accountable. But after seeing the pretty police officer in the driver's seat of a police car, he can't help but shamelessly plug his YouTube channel. How are you? Hey, how you doing? What are you watching? Huh? What are you watching? Are you watching? Can you can since you can watch t like uh, your phone while you're working? Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Sure. I'm asking as many people today. Can you look it up on your phone for a second? Sure. It's uh, so you type A C C. Mine should come up first. It's called Accountability for All. But if you type A C C, yeah, it's Accountability for All. But if you type A C C, mine's usually the first to pop up. Okay. Do you see it? A C C O U N T. Yep, it's accountability for all. Cece gives us all some sage advice as we navigate this world these days in this next clip. Six feet away, don't, don't forget. Gotta keep six feet away with a mask on. Thank you, Cece. Have you ever been sitting in class and not be able to stifle a loud yawn? What's a professor to do when someone yawns loudly? It could have been an accident, or someone could be trolling him. Well, whichever one it is, this professor lets the class know exactly how he feels. Those 
would be a telegram, right? Nobody knows what a telegram is anymore because we don't use them. Um, who just did that? No, I want to know. Stand up. We'll stay here until either that person admits who it is or the person sitting around them tells me who it is. Who was it? It was back here? I've been hearing it in this room, like, regularly. And I'm not sure I believe that. Let me tell you something, you guys. My bad side is as bad as my pleasant side is pleasant. All if right. I hear one more of these overly loud yawns, get up and walk the hell out. Yawn outside, and you should be asking yourself, why am I the one loser that has to do that and 220 other people know better? Don't push me to this point again. Do you know who I am? Frankly, the officer doesn't care who she is because she drove while intoxicated. Granted, her son was in a car accident, but that's no excuse. She not only endangered her life, but the lives of other drivers to get to him. A dead Karen or a Karen in prison for killing someone while driving intoxicated does no one any good. Yeah. Hey, didn't you make an appearance earlier in this video? <sighs> okay, you seem like you have something to say. Get on with it. Okay, all right, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to the hot dog stand right now. Um, and I just want to get a fucking hot dog on my day off. You know, a nice dog in the middle of the afternoon. You know, I mean, really. Can, can, can I get that without wearing a face mask here in Westchester County? You fucking trained rats! Sorry. I'll tell you, when this whole epidemic happened, I felt like I was in fucking California. It was just like 20-year-old women outside walking around, you know? I mean, it was refreshing. And now that it's all over, I made a wrong turn, sorry. Now that it's all over, the bitch is out. And when I mean bitch, I'm talking about the obnoxious 40, 50 year old women that are just been cooped up for 60, uh, or 60, for um, four months, pissed off, found out that their essential, uh, their non essential job is complete bullshit in this world, and it's been eliminated. Hey, CC. On behalf of us 40 and 50 year old women, your wife included, can you hear it? How about now, asshole? You know, in this day and age, if you have a job, especially working in retail and with customers, you want to be as polite and friendly as possible. If you are having issues at home or with a customer, you need to suck it up and grin and bear it. Rudeness just makes people not want to be helped by you, drives customers away, and gives the business you work for a bad reputation. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. If you wanted to get all this, you could have went to Walmart. I don't want to go to Walmart. But don't come in with it. This is a Dollar General. Come here and get a few things. That's it. I tell you what. Yeah, you can't get a Dollar General. I will be calling your home. Caller! And now, let's bring the back in here. Jesus? They all know me. They already know me. Yeah, I'm to be nice, and then you are 
The next video comes from Flat Earth Fucker. No, that's not it. Oh, I think it's Gaylord Fokker. No, that's not it either. I know the name. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, oh, I got it. Flat Earth Fokker. I'm not really down with the protests because that guy's telling me to stop. All right, let me put this on. Let me get my press credentials on. All right, guys, how do you like my press shirt? How old is this girl? Kids shouldn't be wearing masks. It says on the back. I can't remember. Can you guys see that? I don't know if my own covering it. Covering up what it says. Twelve bucks on Amazon, about six bucks delivery. So it's pretty cheap. I figured I'd wear it. I was hoping to go to like the BLM and Tifa protests with this on. No. 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 Zombies. They're not cool. They look like a zombie. Oh, you're an idiot. Let me wear my mask. Let me cut off my carbon dioxide. Cutting off your carbon dioxide, people. Surgical masks are single use 15 minutes in a sterile environment. Talk about being brainwashed. We have our save the country. So. The crazy-eyed guy in this next video is aching for a fight, as evidenced by his demeanor. He also wants an audience. However, no one is giving in to him, which makes him try harder, and he even tries to get a bystander involved. Hey, I'm being threatened by this person right now. No, you're not. Everybody, you can legally take a picture of him. What are you doing, man? You want to dial something? Hey. Dude, get your please camera away from me. Not I'm not touch touching me. your camera. I'm saying, get, I'm not touch touching me. you. Don't punch touch me first. Don't touch me, sir. Why are you please do not touch me. me. Everybody try and grab my Dude, are you good? You want to get punched in the face? Please don't touch me, sir. Dude, stop recording me. Stop trying to touch please you. Please touch me, sir. Touch me first. I dare you. Please. I want self-defense. Touch me. Hit, don't hit me. Please don't touch hit me, me, sir. Dude, this dude keeps trying to Stop recording me. That's illegal. No, I'm telling you, it's illegal. Sir. Drop that please phone right now. Do you want to... What are you doing right now? Please don't touch me, sir. I'm not touching you. Hey, why are you touch touching me? me? Oh. Dude, why is he recording me? Yo, hey, can you tell me to the water? Okay, I'm calling the police. Not liking a particular politician, or in this case a president, is fine. That's called choice. However, judging someone by what they wear or who they support 
is not. See, we all make choices in life, some good, some bad, but those choices do not reflect a person's education or their IQ. Case in point, this next video. Where do you want me to start? Uh, anywhere. Uh, let's see, foreign policy, our alliances, uh, you know, what happened to drain this swamp? He is the swamp. Well, I think he's done a great deal to try to drain the swamp. Without, he's in the uh, middle of the swamp. He's literally the swamp. I don't know you. You walk up to me and you say, if I take my Make America Great Again hat off, it would raise my IQ. I said it would look like it. It would look like it raised my IQ. So it's kind of like calling me stupid. I said it looks like Yeah, but you don't know me. I can have a higher doctor degree and everything than you or your husband combined. You could, but I wouldn't think that you'd support Trump if that would Well, I think that's where the problem is in America right now, is too many Americans are assuming things. Just because, they, help stamp out just because they see a hat, they assume somebody's ignorant or stupid. And instead of actually having a dialogue like we were about to uh, on points that actually matter, they are just too quick to pass somebody off as ignorant. Okay. Then the clarification is if you educated yourself on So you're topics, saying I'm not educated? No, I said on the topics. So I'm not educated on the topics? Yes. So you unemployment rate more, is not a, a, one of the lowest places it's been in history? More, Can you answer that question? If you educated yourself more, you'd you see the that question. things were in place moving that way. The stock way market just hit 27,000 for the first time in history? That has nothing to do with the current president? No. Really? Why not? It would have just happened no matter who took office after Obama, is what you're saying, bitch. Well, no matter who took office after Obama, it would have happened. What I'm saying is, is that, is that what other you're saying? people know that's not. No. Well, well then, that just happened, basically because I'm wearing a Make America Great Again hat on. She came up to me and said, and you can't agree with me more. I cannot agree with you more. The did woman you, was an idiot. Did you, you heard what she said? Yes. She walked by and said, if I took this hat off, it'd make me look like I had a higher IQ. I heard it. So based, what would that say to you if somebody said something like that to you? Then she's an idiot. But what is it kind of saying to the person she's saying it to? That they're stupid. I would think that. Here we go. I'm gonna go talk to the police. Oh, I forgot that Jamie wasn't done yet. She apparently is no stranger when it comes to talking to the police. She is also no stranger when it comes to accusing people of abuse, and she will make a 911 report about it. Hello, are you Jamie? Nice to meet you. Mind if we talk to you for a few minutes? Not at all. Okay. We're going down. How you doing today? Fine. We're just stopping by to check on you, see how you're doing. Um, the reason why we're here, just to be honest with you, is some of the folks inside the house called and were concerned about your welfare and wanted us to come and just kind of see how you're doing. Why are they concerned about my welfare? Um, I think it was just about some of the behavior that was going on inside the house. That's what they told me at least. So that's that's why I'm here. I'm just coming to check on you, see how you're doing, see if there's any services we could provide to you. I am I afraid of my landlord. He bruised my wrist right here. I have a video proving it and I want him arrested. Okay. All right. That's that's not why we're here today. I don't think we're going to be, we could talk to you about that if you'd like I to. I would like to. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm filing a 911 call. I don't see any injury on you. Right there. It's going to bruise later. Okay. All right. We could take, I could take your information from you and we'll document that in a police report. All right. Is there anything that we can do for you today? to assist you with what's going on. Yeah, give me some weed. I need weed. It's the natural medicine. Do you feel like hurting yourself? Absolutely not. What would you What would you do if you got to the point where you felt like hurting yourself? What would you do? I don't know. I'd probably reach out to friends and hope that somebody would Sounds call me. me. All right, have a great day. Wait, sir. What do you go to Burger King for? Food. And if that Burger King is on fire, what do you do then? Well, apparently this Karen, 
you will see. Well, thanks to this next video, we now know what Josh Abrams and pals talk about when they are in the car. It's not like these videos won't be seen in the future when he is all done with his First Amendment auditing and settled down. I mean, these won't have an impact on his life then. Oh, you saying hi to you? Listen, they said hi to Guys, listen. He's talking there, too. At this point, he's going, what? He's talking there, too. Oh, is he? Yeah. Guys, let's all subscribe to News Now Omaha Cop Block. Who's your News Now? And who else, Chuck? Accountability for all? No, not accountability for all. He's a Chuck fake. Bronson! Woo! Yo, will you grab Chuck's cock for me? Yeah, where's it at, man? No, you're not where's... touching my cock. It's hey. Chuck's cock. I can't find the cock. Are you sitting man. on my cock? Are you sitting you on his cock? Down, yeah, but I got excited. I put your cock down because no, I was playing with it. My... Oh, the cock's no. in your ass? Cock it would not go no, in there. No. Oh. You guys need to leave my cock alone. Damn, stop putting that in there, man. Stop putting that in there, man. Smash <laughs> <laughs> that like button! So this Darren proclaims he is perfectly healthy, so he doesn't have to wear a mask. And of course, his girlfriend, wife, sister, no judgment here, who is also not wearing a mask, comes to her man's defense. What's that adage? When birds of a feather? The regular flu too. Okay. Oh, oh my God. God. What a piece because I'm perfectly healthy and I don't want to wear a mask. I don't know. They told you he wasn't healthy. You wouldn't be here. Yeah. 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 I don't have. I'm 100% healthy. You want to just wear a mask for the rest of your life? You're a gun You're a gun You want to just wear a mask for the rest of your life? You're gonna. You're going to. Because someone tells you to. So you're gonna. You realize there was a policy that you have to sign when you get on this bus. Okay. It's a private company. Guess what? Guess what? I didn't sign. Now, this Karen thinks she doesn't have to back up. Well, the police think otherwise. This Darren thinks he knows who does and doesn't live in this development and that these teens don't belong there, and they don't deserve to be there. Oh, and apparently they were messing around in the road, and because they are 15, they can marry in Alabama or Missouri or something. I don't know. This guy apparently just can't teenagers, I guess. I really don't care. Okay. Because you don't belong in this development. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. I live here. Okay, where do you live? Why would we tell you any of this? Where do you live? I'm not telling where you. Where do you live? I'm not telling you. Okay, not a problem. I'm going to call the gate and have you all arrested. You're not arrested. Okay. You do not deserve to be in here. Okay. okay. What did we even do wrong? There's like... I have to wait for that five minutes while they're going around the road. No. We're, uh, we're, 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 we're backing up for you. We're you. moving for you. And you say you're going to hit him. Do you have a problem? Because I can get my grandfather. You're going to hit him for the car? Bring him out right now. Bring him out right now. Thank you. 
Thank you. It is because you're driving illegally. Um, I wasn't okay, driving. but you're coming at 15 year olds. So you're gonna hit us with the uh, car. Because you're 15 years old, you could marry in Mississippi or Alabama. This is so not Mississippi or Alabama, car? this is Florida. It's Florida. Okay. Sir. <laughs> so you're gonna hit us with no, the no, car. Don't stick your hand out. Did you threaten this house? I did yeah. not threaten did you threaten I have it on video. Did you you said you're gonna hit I have it on car. video. No, I did not. Yes, you did. We have it on Go inside. Let me see the video. Here we have a Karen who can't park correctly and thinks it's okay to be racist. We don't want you here because you can't drive. You see, you cross the line. I crossed the line. You don't know a thing. Go back to China where you belong. Chinky, chinky China lady. Chinky, chinky China lady. We don't, you know what? You give the, you give the people a bad name here. We hate you people. Go back. Where you belong. You. And Jamie, every time we just try to have a normal conversation with you, it just goes right to insults. Um, is that against the law? Is it no, a, is against the law to insult a man in blue? Do you understand how it's not a normal conversation? Jamie is still talking to the police. Sorry, sorry. Jamie never just talks, does she? She screams, insults, harasses, and threatens the police. She must love the attention because she just can't leave the police alone even when they are trying to leave. You guys get called why, shit all the time. Why we're concerned? And you get and you take down the blacks and you get fucking on video. That's false. Okay. Have a good day, Jamie. We're leaving. I want him arrested. We're, Fuck we're, face. We're not, we're not taking a report. You want to go to jail? For what, disorderly sir? Conduct. Oh, disorderly conduct. That, that type of attitude right there is probably going to end up in the hospital. Just to let you know. Oh, I'm really afraid. Okay. I'm so know. afraid of you guys. Give me a fucking break. So if, you guys, if you don't go back over here, you're going to block his way or grab one of his car. You've got one or two things. You can go to jail for disorderly conduct or you can go to the mental hospital. Which one would you like? Because those are your only two options. Fuck you, Hastings. You're going down. Your 401k or your 403b, consider a fucking gone because you have no retirement. Right. You get a pension because you're an employee of the state. Way to fucking go. You didn't put a dime in the stock market, you fucking loser. Just because you're a public employee, you, you deserve more than the private sector employees. Give me a fucking break. I have to deal with people that behave like this. Like oh, you think God, so. I am so sorry. I'm a big fucking man, and I'm going to pull out my dick and see how big it is, and I've got the biggest dick of them all. 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 This guy's a fucking dick.